Okay, everybody get on their mats. We're gonna start standing, doing abs today. We wanna feel energized and activated. So stand up. You could come at a wide stance, feet open, hands open. Okay, coming into a standing meditation, closing the eyes, really feeling your weight on your feet, entering your body, entering your awareness, connecting everything together, your breath, your movements. Checking if there's anything you can do in your alignment, in your standing posture to make you feel more steady, more stable. Maybe activating the core just a little bit so that you have a nice posture and you're not slouching forward in the stomach or maybe curling backwards. Really just a light activation here, which will radiate throughout the whole body. Shoulders are relaxed. Connecting to your breath. Maybe starting to count your breath. Three seconds on the inhale, three seconds on the exhale. join each other virtually with the joint ohm and really be aware of what's going on in your body while you're oming, seeing how your core is activated and ignited while you ohm. Inhale through the nose deeply. Exhale, ohm. Turn to your normal breath. Did you notice what was going on in your abdominal region, in your core? Every time you exhale, your core contracts. Use that as a tool throughout our practice today to really channel that and be aware of it. Slowly open the eyes, and we'll start to energize the body coming into some jumping jacks. Warming up the joints and the shoulders and the ankles and the feet and the toes, maybe wiggling out the fingers. Just getting the energy flowing throughout your whole body, creating a bit of heat, preparing us for this nice and quick ab workout together. <laughs> Couple more seconds. And stop, close the eyes, feel the energy rushing throughout your body, your heartbeat activated and enhanced. And we'll come to the top of the mat, going through a couple rounds of sun salutations, big toe to big toe. Inhale the hands up. Exhale, come forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, drop the hands, walk or jump, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take a moment here in your first down dog of our practice to maybe wiggle out the legs, rocking side to side, walking out the knees, Whatever feels good for you in this little moment here to yourself. Breathing deeply through the nose. 
Look forward, walk, step, or jump. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, Samastitihi rest. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga, walk, step, or jump. Down to the ground. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. All right, here, we're gonna pick up that right leg, one-legged dog. Inhale. Exhale, bring that knee to nose. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale, knee to nose. Drop that right leg down, gonna switch sides. Inhale, that left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale up. Exhale, knee to nose. Last time. Inhale up. Exhale forward. Drop that left leg. Look forward, walk, step, or jump. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, head to knee, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, rest. How is that? Let's keep going. Inhale up. Exhale forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk, step, or jump. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. All right, we're gonna lift that right leg again this time, one legged like dog. So we're gonna bring the knee to our right elbow on the exhale. Inhale up. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale up. Exhale, knee to right elbow. One more time. Inhale up, exhale, knee to right elbow. Coming back to your downward dog, switching sides. Left leg up, inhale. Knee, left knee to left elbow, exhale. Inhale up, exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale up, exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale up, exhale. Last time. Inhale up, exhale, knee to elbow. Return to your downward dog. Take a moment here, look forward, walk, step, or jump. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale up. Exhale, rest, samastiti here. Inhale, urdhvahastasana. Exhale, uttanasana. Inhale. Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Drop the hands, walk, step, or jump. Exhale on the Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. We're gonna lift that right leg again, one-legged dog. Except we're gonna come to the opposite elbows now. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more time. Inhale, exhale. Coming back to your downward dog, let's switch legs. Left leg to the sky, inhale. Left knee to right elbow, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. One more time. Inhale, exhale. Coming back to your downward dog. Exhale. Look forward, walk, step, or jump. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, samastitihi. Last round. Inhale, the hands up. Exhale, come to the ground, forward fold. Look forward, halfway lift. Drop the hands, walk, step, or jump, chaturanga. Exhale as you lower down. Inhale, up dog, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, 
down dog. Adjust yourself as needed. From here, we're gonna come to a tabletop without dropping the knees to the ground. So inhale, lift a bit higher with your hips to the sky. Exhale, drop the knees down without touching the ground into an almost tabletop. Exhale. Inhale, back to down dog. Exhale. Tabletop. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And we're going to hold here for a moment in your tabletop without touching the knees on the ground. Breathing deeply. Come back into your downward dog. Deep breath. Look forward. Walk, step, or jump. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, head to knees. Inhale, rise. Exhale, rest. Proud of you. Take a moment, open the body, feel the heat. Maybe swing the hips around. Letting all that heat and energy flow freely. Maybe swinging the arms. Whatever feels good for you in this moment. Amazing. From here, we're going to stand in our left leg, practicing some core and balance work. Bringing that right leg right above the knee, like an angle four. We're going to come to a variation of tree pose. Inhale, the hands up. Exhale, we're gonna squat, bending in the standing knee, almost like we're coming into a chair pose, and we're gonna swing the arms backwards. The spine is still long and straight here. Try not to curve in the spine. Open chest, open shoulders. Inhale, hands up. Lengthen. Exhale, swing the arms back and squat in your standing leg. Inhale up. Exhale, squat back. Focus on your point that's helping you balance. Inhale up. Exhale back. Last time. Inhale up. Exhale, swing arms back. Come back to center. Switch legs slowly. Grounding in that right foot, placing the left leg right above the knee. Variation of tree posture. Inhale the hands up when you're ready. Lengthening in the spine. Exhale, squat in your standing leg, swing the arms back. Inhale up. Exhale, swing back. Long spine, open heart. Inhale up. Exhale back. Inhale up. Exhale back. Last time. Inhale up. Exhale back. Beautiful. Release the legs. Balancing in that left leg again, we're going to swing the right knee to chest, hands to heart center, inhale. Exhaling, we're going to bring that right knee all the way back, coming into a variation of warrior three. If you want an extra challenge here, you can bring the arms up. Inhale, swing that right knee to chest, hands to heart center. Exhale, swing the right leg back, maybe swinging the hands forward. Exhale. Beautiful. Inhale, right knee to chest. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Coming back to center, switching sides. Inhale, left knee to chest, hands to heart center. Exhale, swing that left leg back. Maybe the arms will come forward. Inhale, left knee to chest, hands to heart center. 
Exhale, swing that left leg back. Hands come forward, maybe leaning a little bit more down. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, extending out. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. Inhale. Exhale. Coming back to center. Last standing posture. Let's bring our feet together. We're going to come into a chair pose. Inhale as we swing the hands up and drop the hips down. Take a moment in your chair pose here, making sure that you can see your toes. If you can't, either stand up a bit more or swing the hips back like you're really sitting in a chair. You want to get this nice back angle here, not just squatting and bringing the knees forward. Okay, in the chair pose, making sure your stomach is activated here. Don't just slouch forward coming into a back bend. Pelvic tilt forward, engaging the core. Beautiful. Breathe deeply. <sighs> Inhale, maybe extending the arms a little bit more. Exhale, we're gonna come into a twisted chair, bringing the left elbow to the right knee and to look up at your right elbow. Inhale, back to center, normal chair pose. Exhale, twist to the left, right elbow to left knee. Look at the left elbow. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, last time, inhale, exhale, to the right, inhale, exhale, to the left, inhale, rise with your body, Urdhva Hastasana, exhale, coming to the ground, forward fold, head to knees, inhale, halfway lift, Exhale, we're gonna come into our planks and stop there instead of continuing to chaturanga. So now we're in our planks, adjust yourself as needed, hands under the shoulders. They can be a little bit out in front of you if you have any pain in the wrist or right beneath the shoulders. On your toes, drop the hips a little bit more. Breathe deeply. Static plank for a moment here. Really activating the core, the back strength, the shoulder strength. Okay, from here we're gonna play around a bit. So get ready. Gonna do a plank all around the world. What does that mean? Right now we're in plank. Lean towards your left hand, coming into a side plank. Lifting that right arm, arm towards the sky and breathing deeply. Now we're in side plank. From here, we're gonna drop our right hand behind us and come into a reverse plank. You can bend your knees a bit and adjust yourself as needed. Reverse plank. Nice. From here, we're gonna lean to the right arm, keeping those hips above the ground and coming into another side plank on the other side. Dropping that left arm to the ground. We did a whole plank around the world, every direction. Take a moment here in your regular plank before we switch sets. Going in the other direction. Breathing deeply. Leaning your weight towards your right hand. Lifting that left arm towards the sky. Side plank. Left arm comes behind you. Slowly moving with control into your reverse plank. Drop the head back. Take a couple deep breaths here. 
Moving towards the left hand now. Into your side plank again. Couple deep breaths. Bring that right arm down into your normal plank. Breathing again. Beautiful. Two around the world. So proud of you guys. From here, we're gonna drop down onto our forearms, coming into a forearm plank. Keep those hips low. Breathing deeply. From here, lifting the hips and walking the feet towards the head, coming into a dolphin pose. Almost like a downward dog, except we're on our forearms. Breathing deeply. Walk the feet a little bit closer to the head. And we'll lift up onto our hands, coming into our normal downward dog for a moment. Look forward, walk, step, or jump into your seated posture. Beautiful. From here, we're going to come into a boat pose, Navasana. Grab the back of your thighs and make sure you're sitting on your sit bones, not on your lower back. Instead of these, we want this. We want to be on our sit bones. Nice long spines, open hearts. And from here, we'll start to extend our legs up and until you start to feel that you're rolling onto your lower back. So wherever that is, just lower down a little and find your spot. Bring the hands forward, breathe deeply. Every breath lengthening in the chest, opening the heart even more, maybe lifting the legs a little bit higher. Breathing deeply. Inhale, the hands up overhead. Exhale, we're gonna twist to the right. Arms come open, left hand comes to the outside of your legs. Look behind you to your right hand. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, turn to the left. Look towards your left hand. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more time, inhale, hands up, open the heart, exhale, twist to the right, inhale, hands come up, exhale, twist to the left, beautiful, dropping the feet and bringing them into a bound angle now, feet together, hips open, knees open. Take a moment here, inhale the hands up. Exhale, come forward into your bound angle. Just relaxing for a moment. We've been moving nonstop, challenging ourselves, working on our abs, toning our body, our bodies. So take this nice moment to just relax before our last postures. Slowly rise up onto your fingers and come back, reclining onto your back. Nice. Keeping the feet together in our bound angle. Inhale the hands overhead, landing on the ground. Exhale, we're gonna sweep up our hands and follow them and tap the ground in front of us, in front of our feet. Inhale as we go down, hands overhead. Exhale, come forward, finger tap. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Last time, exhale. Coming back down to the ground, inhale, hands overhead. 
Exhale, bring the hands forward, still together, except pointing in the direction of our feet now. Gonna start doing some crunches here with uh, passive breathing. So take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, look forward towards your hands, towards your feet. Crunch it. It's an active exhale and a passive inhale. place our hands on our lower backs. Now in our shoulder stand, don't move your necks. There's a lot of weight here, so we want to protect our necks. Don't look to the right or left. You can just listen to me. If you can, walk the fingers a little bit more towards the ribs, or just stay at your lower back. Point those feet up towards the sky, trying to get this nice, Long, straight, angle with the legs. Don't come over your head yet with your legs. We want to find this nice, long, straight body. Breathing deeply from your core. Every exhale, activating the core, like we spoke about in the beginning with our ohms. Inhale, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Exhale, we're gonna bring the feet down behind us into Halasana, plow pose. Legs together, toe tap the ground. Breathing deeply here. You can drop the hands down behind you onto the ground if that feels comfortable. And really work here not to just compress down the legs are still activated. We're pushing off of the back of our feet, the top of our feet, like in Cobra. Trying to find this nice, long, straight spine still. Bringing the hands back to your lower back. Lift the legs one at a time back up into your shoulder stand. Gonna drop down. Um, vertebrae by vertebrae. Really, you can drop your hands down to the ground and go as slow as possible using your core muscles. And stop when you get to 90 degrees. The back is on the ground, the legs are up pointing towards the sky. We'll drop the hands by our waist and we'll bring the legs to 60 degrees. Breathing deeply. Moving down to 30 degrees. Lowering down to 20 degrees, 10 degrees, and slowly lowering down to the ground. We're going to place our hands underneath our glutes, underneath our butts, coming up onto our elbows. We're going to come into the fish posture, the counter pose to shoulder stand. Drop your crown of the head behind you. Make sure you're really in the crown of your head and not the back of your head or your forehead. If this is comfortable or somewhat comfortable, you can remove the hands slowly and place them on your thighs or you can keep them underneath. Breathe deeply. 
deeply. Open your shoulders, relax and the shoulders down towards the ground. For an added core challenge here, you can lift the legs to 30 degrees. Maybe one leg and then the other. And bring the hands up towards the sky, palm to palm, to palm palms together. Breathe deeply. A couple more seconds here. And slowly lower down. Hands back by your hips. Lower the head down to the ground. And we'll enter our Shavasana. Just lay down. Feel free to lay here for as long as you want. Thank you for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.